your beloved viewers you are watching on live rtd channel welcome to this english news edition here are the major stories the head of state shares the 14th meeting of a council of ministers and on the regional scenes more than 120,000 people displayed in gaza the un mobilized those were the headlines. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. Under the auspice of uh, the head of his state, His Excellency Samal Margili, the Council of uh, Ministers was held. It's uh, 14 uh, sessions of uh, the year. For more details, with our colleague Dini Moussa. Sous la présidence du chef de l'État, Son Excellence, Monsieur Smaïl Margili, s'est tenue la 14e séance du Conseil des ministres en ce mardi 10 octobre 2023. The first question concerns a bill for the axiation of the Republic of Djibouti to the Lisbon Agreement concerning the protection of affiliations of origin and their international registration. In its latest version, entitled the Gemva Act adopted in 2015, this arrangement protects affiliations of origin and their current international registration to protect names designed to the affiliations of geographical origin of products, geographical indications, and geographical destinations of products are official signs which guarantee consumers that the products respect specific production conditions conditions and that they maintain a strong link with their witnesses of origin. The ratification of acts of the Lisbon Agreement and its convictions is therefore of great interest for our country, which has many agricultural and artisanal products. This text offers advantages in terms of the protection of geographical indications of origin for local products. This protection helps preserve the reputation, quality, and authenticity of these products. The protection of these genres of origin helps stimulate the development of tourism. The second question is a bill adopting the financial accounts of the National Agency for Persons with Disabilities for the year 2022. The 2022 financial accounts of the National Agency for Persons with Disabilities, AMPH, are recorded as income at 25,876,000 Jubilee francs and at expenses of 2,58,586,000 uh, Jubilee francs in 2022. Income shows a slight increase and decrease of more than 29 million francs uh, compared to the 2021 financial year. The decrease linked to the drop of the amount of various donations, sponsoring less than 35 million Djibouti francs during the 2022 financial year. The MPH carried out the home registration project for the burdened disabled people in Djibouti City and the five regions. The study on the impact of COVID-19 on disabled people and the extension of the orthopedic device and rehabilitation center, these actions have made it possible to strengthen the rights of people with special needs and to promote their participation with a view to their effective integration into our society. The third question concerns a bill adopting the financial accounts of the Higher Institute of Health Science for the financial years of 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. The Ministry of Higher Education and Research has cleared the financial accounts for the 2021 financial year and the 2018, 2019, and 2020 financial year of the ACF as they stopped in 2021. Products at 27 million Djibouti francs at expenses of 27 million Djibouti francs and 168,000. The results of the triple X accounts and surplus after four successive years of defeat, the products experienced a slight increase of 4 million Djibouti francs in 2021 compared to to the previous financial year of 2020, which is due to increase in income generated by registration fees and costs related to continuing education. The subsidy received from the state of decreased by 4.6 million Djiboutian francs in 2021, and expenses also fell by 7.4 million francs compared to the 2022, uh, 2020 financial year. In 2021, the CSS implemented the reform of paramedical and social professions in order to meet international standards, strengthen the human resources of our health system, and offer young graduates opportunities to perform studies through the training courses. The CNS has placed emphasis on the introduction of health stimulation into training circula and the restructuring of training for pharmacy technicians. During the financial year, 296 students were in training and spread over 14 sectors in total. 120 students obtained their diploma in 2021 in the different sectors of midwifery, nursing, nurse anesthetist, medical imagining technician, pharmacy technician, and laboratory technician. La quatrième question concerne un projet de loi portant approbation. The 
fourth question concerns a bill approving the financial accounts of the Djibouti Roads and Air Agency for the year 2022. Products experienced an increase of almost 30% between 2021 and 2022. They increased from 1.4 billion francs in 2021 to 1.8 billion Djibouti francs. Therefore, in 2022, thanks to the increase in turnover, therefore an increase of almost 59%, in particular thanks to the income generated as part of the works on roads, corridors, and road workers on new housing states. Expenses will decrease by almost 17% between 2021 and 2022. The net result goes from a negative amount of less than 664 million francs in 2021 to 114 million francs in 2022. During the 2022 financial year, the ADR carried out work as part of its annual road maintenance program for urban roads in order to preserve the road heritage of the capital to ensure the sustainability of urban traffic and to ensure a correct level of service of users of the road. The ADR's achievement relates to rehabilitation work located in the three municipalities of the capital. The ADR also carried out rehabilitation work on behalf of public institutions on the roads of the rural corridor. The fifth question concerns the draft degree renewing the members of the Board of Directors of the Djiboutian Social Development Agency. The purpose of this degree is to renew the members of the ADI Board of Directors in accordance with the provisions of Decree 2008-026 PARS Presidency. The mandate of the members of the Board of Directors is renewable every two years. The sixth question, last but not least, relates to the draft degree appointing Mrs. Roda Ahmad Duali, technical advisor to the ministry and appointed technical advisor to the Ministry of Commerce. Mrs. Medina Bouhmousa is appointed director of financial affairs and local authorities at the Ministry of Interior. Mrs. Nima Hassan Ulo is appointed interim director of major works at the Ministry of Agriculture. And Mr. Awlaid Jama Ahmed is appointed technical advisor to the Ministry of Economy. Mrs. Ruqiya Hassan Sheikh is appointed Director of Social Integration of Young People and Volunteering at the Ministry of Youth and Culture. Mr. Mohammed Ismail Galeh is appointed Director of Planning, Studies, Projects and Infrastructure Monitoring and Evolution. Still at the Ministry of Youth and Culture, Mr. Ismail Usman Ahmed is appointed Director of Economic Integration at the Ministry of Youth. And Mr. Suleiman Ahmed Abdi is appointed Director of Regions at the Ministry of Youth and Culture. It was uh, yesterday, Monday, the Minister of Trade and Tourism, Mr. Mohamed uh, Warsama Diriye, received in his office at the Minister of Regional Coordinator of a Trademark uh, Company in Djibouti. This uh, meeting falls within the framework of uh, Horn of Africa Initiative for Regional Integration, where the Republic of Djibouti benefited from the support of European Union in implementing activities and goals related on regional integration and a trade facilitation through a trademark, a company specialized in implementing trade facilities of a program. Yesterday, the joint annual a meeting of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund kick off the market with the participation of a delegation from all over the world to discuss global economic challenges and ways to mitigate their effect among the participants was a high-level Djibouti delegation headed by the Minister of Economy and Finance in charge of industry, Mr. Ilyas Musa Dewali. During this meeting, the Minister of Economy and Finance, Mr. Ilyas Musa Dewali, accompanied by the Minister of Budget and Governor of the Central Bank of Djibouti and their close uh, assistant presented a detailed analysis of, of uh, the economic, financial and social uh, situation uh, made to confront the economic challenges resulting from the externals and regional uh, but also international crisis uh, that uh, had an impact on the country's uh, economic notable reforms uh, undertaken by the Djibouti include a better management of public resources uh, uh, for the economic of our country. And now in Marrakech, in Morocco, will uh, host uh, the annual meeting of International Monetary Fund and the World Bank uh, from uh, this Monday at a first of uh, the continent uh, for uh, 15 years, Africa, which is facing the consequence of a uh, global warming and the burden of debt, uh, will undoubtedly be at the heart of a discussion. The first major announcer should be, uh, should above all uh, be symbolizing and uh, creation of a third seat granted to African countries on the board of uh, uh, directors of each of uh, the uh, two institutions. Uh, but the main a uh, topic of uh, this meeting will be uh, money. It uh, necessary in the phase of uh, emergencies of uh, the day. 
problems main countries are not uh, in favor of an increase uh, in the uh, capital which uh, will force them to take out of uh, the check book within the framework of uh, the project uh, to enhance uh, the, tech the teaching and learning opportunities uh, and review the classrooms of observation tools uh, through reviewed, uh, reviewing the uh, curriculum and teacher skills standards. Uh, attention was paid to adapt uh, classroom observation uh, tools uh, to the new teacher skills standards. To this end, a group of uh, trainers, inspectors, and educational consultants participated in a training workshop. The Secretary General of the Ministry of National Education and Vocational Training assured the official opening of this workshop along with an Inspector General of the Director General of the Center of Omar Aguilar Establishment. It was uh, this morning the Minister of Environment and Sustainable Development organized uh, the French uh, Institute in Djibouti a consultative workshop on the International Mend and Biospheres Program of UNESCO. This initiative is uh, translated into the framework of uh, the government's firm desire to be part of uh, the International Men and Ocean Program of UNESCO. The, these programs include a global network of uh, biospheres uh, reserve uh, consisting of uh, 738 uh, reserves and the uh, 104 of, and, uh, f uh, 40 countries. Uh, this event came uh, after a signing of a joint uh, press statement between the government and UNESCO on the occasion of uh, official visit of the head of the state, His Excellency Ismail Merkele, to the headquarters of the institution uh, in October 2009. Uh, since then, Djibouti and UNESCO have ag agreed uh, to join their effort to strengthen the partnership of conservation, the protection, and biodiversity. The chairman of uh, the National Human Rights Committee visits in Arta region as part of a regional tour of his uh, he is making to the interior region. This visit is uh, of a great importance uh, because of it falls within the framework of a continuing effort made by the National Human Rights Committee to promote and protect human rights at the regional level and close cooperation with local authorities, uh, uh, which is necessary to achieve uh, this goal. Uh, during this tour, the chairman of the National Human Rights Commission met uh, with the chairman of the regional council and regional uh, representative uh, to discuss uh, various issues related to human rights. Uh, you know, the Executive Secretariat for Administrative Reform continues this tour in the five interview region. In this regard, a team from the Ministry of Labor in charge of formalization and social protection led by the Executive Secretary General in formalization of the social protection led by the Secretary General. Uh, made went to a uh, Tajora region in the north organized an awareness uh, raising workshop on the gains and process of administrative reform this uh, team consists of uh, secretary regional of the ministry delegate in charge of decentralization mr mohammed isa farid and the Director General of the National Institute of Public Administrations. Uh, this workshop brought together the main actors uh, in the region, in particular the Regional Council, state employees, representative of decentralized uh, department and civil society. The general objective of uh, this meeting was to involve uh, an interior region in administrative reforms activities uh, and also the participant suggestion and harmonizing reform of regional administrative administrating uh, with the public administration. A mobile gendarmerie member led by the first lieutenant in Tajora a region uh, carried out by the first operation to arrest illegal immigration in uh, corridor number nine. 
after the arrest of the illegal migrants, uh, Im immigrants uh, for uh, 413 individuals were returned to their homeland on board uh, by the ferry, including 164 women and 249 men, all from Ethiopia. This process uh, was uh, supervised by the governor of the region of uh, Tajura. It is worth noting that this step uh, was implemented in three places that were previously identified and as a gathering point for the migrants from Ethiopia. And now for the international, since uh, clashes uh, continue in Israeli uh, sites and uh, uh, towns uh, on four today's operation, Al-Aqsa flood uh, lent by the Palestinian resistance uh, against Israel at a nine time, at a time when the occupation army is uh, learned and uh, Palestinian resistance against uh, uh, the areas where Gaza Stripe and Israeli occupation has also announced the impositions of a complete siege of the Strip and complete cut off uh, the water from it. Uh, uh, at least uh, 232 people have been killed and 1,600 wounded in Palestinian enclave uh, of uh, Gaza during Israelis uh, re after the deadly uh, multiple uh, prone to attack by the Hamas uh, forces. Uh, this is it for this edition. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening.